Welcome to Australia in Space TV. My name's Chris Cubbage. I'm the executive editor with My Security Media. Tafik Huck, CEO and founder with Spiral Blue. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Chris. Uh, startup in Earth Observation. Uh, one of the challenges in Earth Observation is finding customers as well. So you've been going for around uh, seven years, uh, four years straight up uh, in terms of the company. Where in the supply chain are you? And then we'll talk about how you're approaching customers and probably trying to find their problems first in order to solve them. Yeah, yeah. So very much we we stretch across the upstream to the downstream parts. Right. Uh, so we're not in the business, at least at the moment, of building and operating satellites ourselves. But what we have found is a huge, huge problem with Earth observation is customers not getting what they actually need in terms of value for, for cost, as well as in terms of time, accessibility, these sorts of issues. Yeah. It's all very manual, it's all very costly. You know, if you want an image that's just of a small farm that should only cost you know, $10 or less, you're going to be charged multiple thousands of dollars right. because that's not how these companies are set up. Um, and so what we are doing is, rather than doing a lot of the processing on the ground that needs to happen on these images, we are actually doing a lot of that processing on the satellite itself. Okay. So are you accessing satellites and accessing their data in order to get it to, say, the customer faster and cheaper? Is that the focus? Yeah, so that's, a, that's what we're starting with. We're yeah. working with satellite operators to, to get imagery faster, cheaper, get it processed for the customer and then delivered as quickly as possible. And with that in mind, we can do it in about 36 hours. Right? Okay. Uh, but with our technology, Space Edge Computing, what we're doing is we're actually putting computers on board satellites that yeah. are much, much more powerful than what these satellites have had in the past. And so that allows us to move part of that processing pipeline onto the satellite and really reduce that time down from 36 hours to potentially you know, single digit hours and also reduce the, the cost and minimum order quantities. As so well. as a startup, you're kind of working with the satellite companies to try and give them a payload that they can put on a satellite. So there's that aspect. What kind of data do you think sort of agriculture or the opportunities in, the, in data do you see? Uh, and I suppose as a call to action out of this kind of interview, what would you be calling out for uh, from a customer side? I think um, in agriculture, a lot, of, a lot of different very large farms are very, fairly well served in yeah. terms of getting free satellite imagery and then the, the more wealthy cash crop type farms are fairly well served with, with drone imagery and aerial yeah. imagery. Yeah. There's that sort of middle ground of smaller broad acre farms, I, we say broad acre but they're still, they can often be quite small yeah. and they could be spread across multiple fields, across multiple areas where, for example, we had uh, a client that, uh, and they, they actually went through this, even though it was so expensive, that wanted to get 60,000 hectares imaged of, of farmland, but because it was spread out, they had to acquire a million hectares of imagery. Right. So that's a you know, 17 yeah. times higher cost than what they should have paid. Yeah. Um, so we're trying, to, we're trying to explain these sort of cost uh, savings to, to, to uh, our clients. Uh, we're working with data farming. We recently did an announcement with them that we're going to be working with them on this sort of technology. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be able to bring the benefits right. of uh, remote sensing to even these uh, smaller farms as well. So you're working on a case study now in terms of getting uh, sort of once that data is, is able to be used. I, I take it there's also depth. It's also what, what type of things can you tell about a farm just from a, a satellite image? So at the moment, just with uh, optical and near infrared imagery, uh, so just with what the human eye sees essentially and what your, or what your camera phone can yeah. see, uh, we're able to tell a lot of things about a farm. You can see with um, the NDVI indexes, um, I forgot exactly what it stands for, <laughs> but it, you can, you can uh, ascertain things like crop health, crop yield, these yeah. sorts of aspects. And if you look at it over time, you can infer deeper aspects about the farm yeah. as well, such as the, the moisture of the soil, even potentially the, the, the carbon content yeah. as well. And that's just with very basic imagery. We are looking at uh, launching on board a hyperspectral mission as well that will capture far deeper data and with that sort of data we could directly start to see some of these aspects of a farm. We could directly start to see aspects such as you know are there pests, is there uh, undernourishment in, in the nitrogen in the soil, these sorts of aspects. Well, I suppose well, over well. time as well you can see whether the farm is improving or exactly. uh, degenerating as well. So very interesting. So what's your sort of focus over the next sort of 12 to 18 months? Startups are often go very quickly. Uh, where do you see yourself sort of end of 2023? Oh, with, um, we've had three launches so far. Unfortunately, there's been some challenges with those yeah. launches because we don't control the satellite. Yeah. Uh, so the satellites have had issues. So we're continuing to do more launches. 
Uh, the most interesting one we have upcoming is with Satellogic in December. Nice. So Satellogic is a, a, a fairly old company. They've been running for over 10 years at this point. They have 26 satellites in orbit at the moment and already delivering images at scale. Uh, and so we're really excited to be putting a payload on one of their satellites and exploring how could we improve, um, you know, costs, timeliness for Earth observation clients, but how can we also improve the economics of that satellite that we're flying with as well. Great. And we'll also be flying with a couple more satellites next year as well. Beautiful. Spiralblue.com? Spiralblue.com, yeah. Nice. Tafik Hack, CEO and founder, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Great.